All right, we're on. Play now. All right. Last time we stocked up on a bunch of cake and hopefully eating cake will heal me while I'm fighting. We will see how it goes. Um, start with a sword. I think I also have magic. I could try to use magic instead. Because um, I got a bunch of runes here, water runes. Let's try that. I can read the book or wield the book. Okay. I'll wield the book. We'll we'll try the the book, and if the book doesn't work, we'll quickly switch to the sword. We've got that right there. All right. Are we ready? Everyone ready? Cat dog, you're still sleeping. That's pumpkin sleeping. We call him cat dog sometimes. He's like a dog. He was raised by a, a male dog and a female cat, so he has tendencies of a dog. He's also very nice. Okay, here we are. The Black Knight Titan. You fool, you've fallen into my trap. No. Yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Can we just get on with the boss fight? We've already talked with these. If you want to watch the last stream on YouTube, you can see all, all the other options. Indeed, let's you and me fight. I'll slay you, loot the dish, disc. So he's not using magic or anything. I don't know why it's not switching. So I have a already a problem. So I will switch back to you, sword, and go back to sword. Now I just have to keep an eye on the health. There we go, 250, whatever. Now healing is going to be more rapid because these aren't as big of a heal, so... They do heal me in the middle of the fight. I don't want to use up all my healing done right before... I think it's the third battle. There we go. He's gonna come back. So far I've beaten him five times and he keeps coming back. So we will try and see if six is the magic number or if there's even more. That's why I got so much cake. So far so good I believe. Only had to heal once and already almost beat him twice. Or one cake worth, so three times. All right, let's eat some more cake. You is finding the altar of life. Problem is Black Knight Titan is, keeps healing himself with the life runes that he keeps having. The cabbage is talking to me. Toss me up to the ceiling, I'll go fetch you some help. Meanwhile, you eat cake. Lots and lots of cake. He's like, I didn't cook the cake. This one I can let the health drain a little bit more because I'm going to get healed after this third one. I, I beat him. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, one more hit, come on. Yeah, dropped him down. At least, probably three more times. No time to, into explaining. We need to help, let's do this. 
Do what? I think these are the three makers of the game. I'm guessing. Because they have no other real purpose. We're here to help. You hold him up. There we go. Definitely got enough health for this. We can do this. Oh, like my head is getting zapped. Look like I'm electrocuted. I wonder what the life halter are clicking on it during the battle with you. Not gonna try. It. Probably nothing. This is exhausting. Best we beat him is one more time. I'm going to try and beat him at least two more times. See what happens. Brought enough cake in anyway. Yeah. Scarf down that cake. No, that didn't really help. Here we go again. Come on. We're pounding them quick. A couple more hits. As far as I got last time when I died. We're gonna need to eat cake fast. Come on, guy. One more hit, come on. Yes! Is this it? Let me keep healing. Finished! Yes! Alright. Talk to him. I can talk to him still? Do I want to? Andrew says... Finished. Why can't I respawn? Finally. It hurts. Is this what dying feels like? Who is this? The graphically reworked Black Knight Titan. Why were you fighting him? He wanted my disc of returning so he could escape to Gillinor. Is that all? I have loads of them. Here, you can have this one. I can just have it? Of course, why not? So many evil plans, so much loneliness, I should have just asked nicely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Make sure you pay it forward. I will. Here I go. Wow. That wasn't exactly how I expected that to end. So what is this place? The life altar. The place where all life runes were created. The life altar. I always wanted to... to to see that go into the game. Hmm. What did I just say? Oh yeah, we're behind the scenes. You'll keep saying weird fourth weight break fourth wall breaking stuff. You get used to it. I think I may have a quest for you three now. 
The Titan killed the old Cabbage Mancer to lure me here, and that let the life altar get out of control. What do you think about staying here as caretakers? Saviors of the universe, and you'd have an infinite supply of cabbages for your game. That's a great idea. I'll be honest, I never did like living on a farm. Plus it's like a secret lair, which is super cool. It's settled in, we'll fix the life altar and move in here. Huzzah! What a happy ending to my quest. Who would have thought that when we started out that it would take such an unexpected turn? Not me. I was sure Slisky was going to show up or something. I do love a happy ending. Alright, finally finished. Look what we got. We got Brassica Prime God Sword. Two-handed melee override. What? Cabbage Mancer Outfit Override. I wonder what that means. Retro login home teleport animation. Crispy the cabbage follower pet. Oh, I get my first pet. Ability to graphically update the Black Knight Titan from behind the scenes. Talk to Tim and Crunchy in behind the scenes to unlock them as follower pets. Oh, Tim and Crunchy I can get. Talk to Ian for an XP lamp. Requires level 10 in all your skills. Talk to Paul for another lamp for if you get to level 30, and Andrew if you get to level 50. Ability to replay the quest by searching a crate in the Gower Farm. Oh boy. And two keys. You've earned some cosmetic overrides and a pet, which can be found in the wardrobe and pet section of the customization interface. Click on the cog icon to add buttons to this panel. Aw, oh, nice! Open ribbon setup. Okay, so I unlocked a ribbon. So it's like, uh, that's probably what they mean by cosmetically altering the game. Sweet. Paul, I think, was the one that was going to give me an XP lamp. This was my favoritest quest I have ever been in. Can I... I be a P mod for Cabbage Mud. I was hoping to get more of a reward. That's the first thing. Oh, you didn't enjoy the quest? It's not that. I just like XP. I was wondering. Well, see, since you did help us out. Level all your skills to 30. Oh, he's the 30 guy. Alright. I'll ask about the Cabbage Mud after I get my XP. Behind the scenes is such a special case. I love these cosmetic... Oh, I was hoping for a reward. Other than the cosmetics, I like some XP. Level 10, I'll give you a lamp. I'll do that. Okay, so I'm not level 10. Could have sworn I was level 10. There's a button for skills. Where's that? <clears throat> there it is. Okay. So, oh, okay. So, I need to get smithing up to 10 and fishing up to 10. If I get smithing and fishing, then I can go get bonuses. Smithing and fishing, they're pretty close. I wonder if I could do it right here while I'm doing this. Maybe I can. Not in the middle of a conversation, anyway. Alright. Smithing and fishing. Alright, this one is a small fallen star. 
I could claim it or I could add modifiers in the center of the apparatus. All of his access to re-roll the prize, no modifier. All right, I'm gonna claim this prize three times. Put it in my backpack. Ooh, a random. Oh, I choose a modifier and then I and get and grab it. Okay, so I, I, I did the right thing. All right, let's open the backpack and use these on, I said, fishing and... Well, let's do fishing first. Let's fish. There's fishing. It's got a fish on it, of course. Not enough. Let's do that one. Still not enough. Okay, well. We'll keep trying. I could do random that increases the rarity or more oddments. Or a large fallen star with my reward. Oh, I got a medium and a large. Nice. All right, I could do huge lamp along with my reward. Okay, so this one was a small fallen star for construction plus a huge lamp. Let's do that. And I'm out. All right, let's cash in. Six oh six. It's still not leveled up, so it's got a ways to go. All right, and then my huge lamp. Oh, I can't use lamps. Eh. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll save it. It's huge, so I might be able to use it if someday I switch to the other. It'll probably end up in the crash. Okay, so we still have a ways to go, so maybe I'll try to come back here later. I guess I could do the small talk real quick. I love these cosmetic quest rewards. They're great, aren't they? Which one's your favorite? Uh, the God Sword. I do like it. Here's your cabbage speak amulet. Thank you. I lost the disc of returning you gave me. The good thing I built in a return to owner function then. Here you go. All's well that ends well. Can I use the life altar? Nope. Afraid it's very dangerous. Oh, that's a shame. I was assuming that that would unlock the quest reward. I don't know any spells that need life runes, do you? Nope. You need not worry then. All right, I'm going to go back. They said if I go back to the other place, I can talk to those guys and get additional pets. I think they said Tim and somebody else. I think they're in here. I do, I do want to go to the surface, though. I don't have much else to do around here other than grab some pets. Tim, was it you, Gothic Snow? I'll just keep walking around here just in case I bump into someone. Not Romeo. Xanic. 
not Xanic, more Xanix. Apropos, very apropos. Not far. I wonder if there's any way to warp to where I'm at right now and after I go to the surface if I ever decide I need to do something else. I'm not seeing Tim or the other ones. Maybe they're in the actual main area. Um, oh, there's my Black Knight Titan. Here you are. My new best friend. There they are, Crunchy and Tim. Talk to them and then we'll talk to the Titan. Hello! Hey! Would you like to see the world with me? The world? You mean not behind the scenes? That sounds incredible! Just imagine how the, all the much feedback we can give the environmental artists! So much feedback! You got yourself a deal! You unlock them as follower pets. You can activate them from the pets tab in the customization interface. Well, are you coming then? Well, you see, the developers didn't have time to make us disappear, so just imagine we're not here, okay? That's funny. Alright. I'm clicking the cog. And let me see if the pets... Upgrades and extras has a little thing. Displays up to 14 in the current state. Okay. So I should put stuff that I would need down here on the bottom. Already got backpack button right there, so I could just get used to that. Which buttons should I pick? Not sure. Where's the pets button? Does any of these look like pets? Or is that in the gameplay section? This does not look like the actual game part. Come on, pets. Pets drops. No. I feel like pets would not be one of those categories. Oh, okay, so I clicked on it and it made it right there. Made it bigger, okay. I don't know. Pets has a button apparently, but I can't find it. We're gonna talk to you, Mr. Titan, that I just beat six times. Oh, it's the old version. Look at that Titan. He's so ugly. I don't know what happened. I was just standing out in the world one minute and then stuck here the next. You've been graphically replaced. Oh, that makes me sad. Is there anything I can do to you can do to help? Send the old black Titan back to Gilinar. Here. Oh no, I'm back. What did I do wrong this time? I wasn't made for this place, friend. I need to be up there where the beautiful people are. Can you help me out? Send the new Black Knight Titan back to Yelinar. Yes. Whoa, what happened? Why am I back here? No! Ah, so you choose which one. I'm guessing I have to fight him again later. Alright, so I went back. I got a new pet. I think we're done in here. Got a massive amount of cake in case I ever get into another battle. Already ready. Uh, 
Um, oh, they moved over here now. Now there's a bunch of rabbits. I guess I could talk to them and go back to the surface. I don't think there's anything else to do around here. Can you return me to the surface? Of course. I can send you back to your old farm if you like. Yes, please. Woo! Finally, out of here. Apparently, I can do that battle again if I get a crate, apparently. Yeah, that's what they told me. Let me see if those guys are in here. I bet they're not. Crate of returning. That's probably where I go back. If I ever decide to go back to that weird world. The Gower quest. Don't see anybody. How about you cabbages? You talking much today? Looks like that's a no. Okay. That sounds good to me. Let's see, what, what quest? We were in the middle of Priest in Peril. That's not too far of a walk from here. Let's see if I can high step it over there and try that. Priest in Peril, where is it? There you are. Set active. We're gonna try it again. This is, I think, try number three, but... Let's see if I can... I'm sure I can figure this out. More raspberries. That's a raspberry pie. If I hook up a raspberry pie with my raspberries... That's a different quest. I don't remember which one. Oh, I gotta grab the bones. Gotta bury them. I wish they had to teleport a little bit closer. This is kind of ridiculous. I still have to fight stuff on the way. Entering the large door. Let's head up the staircase. I need a key, so I'm looking for a key. There's a bunch of monks. Don't see a key here. What's that thing on the ground? Hmm. Alright. Maybe you have a key. Do you have a key? You have a lot of EXP, but your attack is pretty weak. Got lots of cake, so I'm not afraid. Are your friends gonna hit me too? I guess not, because they're not even interested. That's why I didn't hit you before, because I wasn't sure. But now at this point, I got so much cake, I can. Take that chance.
That'd be annoying if I played like all 12 of them. Ooh. It is some kind of healing thing. Yay! Look what I found. Take everything. Take the bones. Take the key. Bury the bones. Alright, it's a golden key and I need an iron key. So let's... Kind of shocked you guys aren't hitting me, but I'll take it. Down the staircase. So far, every time I get something iron, I put it in and I get a gold thing out. Let's put a gold thing in and get an iron thing out. I think an iron is the key that I need. A mausoleum. So happy we beat that black Knigget tight in the eye. Alright, monument. The key one, was it this one? Well, it'll tell me. Nope. That's the leaf I swapped. How about this one? Here's the iron key. This is what I need. So I'm going to use this key and pop out. And I got my iron key. Okay, now I can use that key, I believe. To let the priest out of prison. So far it's looking like it's working out, kiddos. <laughs> Firecutter is like, I don't want to fight. He heard fighting and he's like, I'm not interested. I didn't do anything. I think they, they wanted me to like accidentally fight. Oh, look at that. I made it. Open the cell door. Oh, thank you. You found the key. Talk to him. He fit in the lock. You're free to leave now. Well, excellent work, adventurer. Unfortunately, as you know, I cannot risk having the vampire in the coffin. I have some water from the cell. It seems to have been desecrated, though. Think you could bless it for me? Yes, good thinking, adventurer. Give it to me. I will bless it. Use water, water on him. Use it on the coffin. Quickly. Alright, hopefully he blessed it. It didn't say that he did. But I'll try it and see if it works. It sounds like there's something alive inside. I don't think it'd be a very good idea to open it. Poured the water over the coffin. I think it should trap him in there long enough for you to escape. Great work. I'm here free at last. Let me ensure the evil vampire is trapped for good. I will meet you down by the monument. Look for me down there. I need to assess what damage has been done to our holy barrier by those whole evil Zamorakians. Yeah, I getcha. You didn't animate it so it does anything. You don't want me to open it. 
because it won't let me. Nobody's attacking me yet. Nobody's attacking me yet. Alright, going out. Monument, I think, was over here on the left. Is it over here? Or that? I mean... No, that was a tree. No monument here. Maybe they mean monument as in out here. No se? Downstairs to the monument like Drezzle asked me to and assess what damage has been done. Downstairs. Do they mean? Oh, they mean inside at the mine. Maybe. But that's a bit. Downstairs. Just says downstairs. It doesn't say outside. Examine Friar Twilbit. Examine Harry Well Templeton. Harry Sail the Pipes. Sarl Dungeon, Priestly Warrior. down what's up what's going on que pasa what's up maybe I should have opened the door and then left nope doesn't stay open Monuments with an S. See what damage been done. Oh, maybe they mean the monuments inside that dark area, the the underground place. Maybe that's what it means. That's the thing lit up over here. I wonder what that is. This is not it. I'll check out over there. On the map. The little yellow symbol thing. I bet it's in here though, because it says multiple. And these are all monuments. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Ah, uh, Mangler 3M, I... Uh, See you finally made it down here. Things are worse than I feared. I'm not sure I will be able to repair the damage. Why, what's happened? From what I can tell after you killed the guard dog who protected the entrance to the monuments, those Zam Zamorakians forced the door into the main chamber and here used some kind of evil potion upon the well which leads to the source of the river south. As they have done this, at the very source of the river, it will spread along the entire river, disrupting the blessing placed upon it and allowing the evil creatures of Mauritania 
to invade at their leisure. What can we do to prevent that? Well, I placed a holy barrier on the entrance that leads to Mauritania, but it's not very powerful and requires me to remain here, focusing upon it to in keep it intact. Should an attack come, they would be able to breach this defense very quickly indeed. What we need to do is find some kind of way of removing the counteracting of or counteracting the evil magic that has been put into the river source at the well so that the river will flow pure once again. Couldn't you bless the river to purify it? Like you did with the water I took from the well? No, that would not work. The power I have from some Ceridomen is not great enough to cleanse an entire river of this foul Zamorakian pollutant. I have only one idea how we could possibly cleanse the river. What's that? Mages have an ore called Rune Essence that absorbs magic and allows them to create runes. Should you be able to connect, collect enough of the Rune Essence, it is possible I will soak up the evil potion that has been poured into the river and purified. Kind of like a filter. Okay, I guess it's worth a try. How many should I get? I have no knowledge. Well, I have no knowledge of these ores other than speculation and gossip. But if the things I hear are true, about 50 should be sufficient for the task. Oh boy, so it's still going. I need rune essence. Does it tell me where to get the rune? What am I supposed to do? Find 50 rune essences and bring them to me. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to go check out the bank and see if I have any. Could be I miraculously have 50. I don't know. I wish I could see the bank from here. I'll have to tell the Gowers to add that in. Fuck to Doomsayer. heard something it was the cat okay all right we are looking for rune essence do i have 50 already i have body rune mind rune air rune nature rune fire rune earth and chaos rune runes of the spells of water army of the rune. so none of these are rune essences oh great can't bank this lamp? Oh my gosh. I think it's gonna be taking up room in my bag for that long. Ridiculous. I mean, I could dump it. I'm really... Tempted to just dump it.
Let's see if we can do these red berry pie. I knew I need those for a different quest. Is there a cooking thing around here? There's a pottery thing around here. Is there a cooking one? Looking on the map. General store, furnace, anvil, transportation. I bet in this building right here, if I go here and then go just west, I bet you there is cooking in there. And I could try to cook a pie and see what I need. I have bread dough in the bank if I need it. Maybe bread dough plus red berries. I don't know. Lots of rats. Stop, stop, stop. Pass. Walk too far. Okay. Take bowl. Take empty pot. That's nice. How Cooking at the cooking range. Look, I made it. All right, we want red berry pie. This is all meat. Did you try a pie? Here we go, pies. Red berry pie. Uncooked berry pie. Um, meat pie. Apple pie. So red berries is not the ingredient to make the red berry pie. Of course not. You just need a r uncooked berry pie. Which I'm not sure where to get. Doesn't tell you, does it? Other recipes. Bowl of hot water. Huh. So weird that the berries is not what I need. What do you do with berries that can't be used for anything? Should I just dump them? Maybe if I talk to him, he'll give me an uncooked berry pie. Or maybe I have to buy it. Keep on dying. Go to the general store. Maybe I have an uncooked berry pie there. Take tin, bowl, tinder box, chisel, hammer, security book, newcomer map, empty pot, jug, shears. So no uncooked berry pie. Could sell my berries. That's very interesting. Look, I can sell all these cakes that I stole for 15 each. That's like free money. Wow. Oh. It's weird that a piece is not worth one third as worth it. Very interesting. Where'd that assistant go? See if they saw anything. Have to go. Oh, there you go. Shop assistant. What do you sell? The same stuff. 
Oh, you got berries. And a security book. Not the easy to save stuff. Learn uncooked pie. Dagger, dagger, hammer, tinder box. Free tinder box. Need a tinder box for something. I will take it because I might need it. Take. All right. Thank you. If I check out the uncooked pies, wouldn't be around here. Crafting, bakery, wine, vegetable, and seeds. Hmm. Where else? What other store might there be? We go here, there's a general store, highly doubtful. What if I go over here? There's another general store. I feel like a cooking place? I feel like there's a cooking spot right next to the general store here. There's also the Grand Exchange. I could go there. I know what I'll do. I'll go to Baroque, I'll check out that store, and then I'll continue on to the Grand Exchange. Sound good? Sound like a plan? All right, let's do it. I was gonna get a god sword. I just got a new possible future sword, I think. Modern art. Swords? You're selling swords? How about god swords? These swords look better than mine. My sword's pretty weak. My sword is... This one is a 122 damage. This one's a 245 damage. I wonder if this one you can hold a shield too. This is offhand. Oh, I need to be level 25 before I can hold this one. Level 40 to hold this one. Wow, these are much better. Totally need one of these. I have 51,000, so I can afford all of these. Let's see what I'm wearing. Currently using a Keen Blade, which is a 223 damage. This one is a 122 damage, so it's actually not better. Oh, this one's a 245 damage, so it is better. What's special about mine? Mine's slashing, melee, vertical strike. This one's slashing, melee, fast. Offhand. I wonder if I have two of those. Let's try this. It's worth it. Let's try it. Let's see if we can wield it. Differently. It's all pointy. Pointy hat. 
All right, assistant, what do you saw? Looks like pretty much the same stuff. Okay. Upgraded possibly the sword. Slightly. I guess I could have tried to sell my old one. But... Mm, looking for bakery, so that's a clothing store to my left. Potions, maybe. General store. This looks like possibly cooking down here. Cooking as in it's got place to cook inside. Yeah, so I was kind of right. The picture was right. Not a store though. Magic store. This looks like it might be cooking. Potting, making pot. Ooh, a stray dog. Hey, doggy dog dog. You need a home? I bet this is plants in here. Estate agent. Housing agency, what can we do for you? How can I get a house? Starting house is a thousand coins. You want to buy a starter house? Sure. Go through the Remington house portal and you will find your house ready for you. You can start building it. This book will help you start building your house. We just bought a house. The cheapest house ever. I'll have to go check out Remington in a moment. This is all crowded. Check out the map, see which way I can go. I wanted to go to the Grand Exchange. So it looks like if I go due west, which I'd crash right into this wall. Open manhole. What? What's in there? I'm down manhole. Look what I found! I found a sewer with a bunch of giant rats. Oh my gosh. Here be dead stuff. Red spiders, hobgoblins, hill giants, skeletons, poison spiders, black demons, red spiders, thugs, chronozon, Dave's basement of doom. Bank Vault. Hey, let's go to the Bank Vault. 
It's all connected. Well, actually, no, it's not, because you can only go to here. Nice. Take the bones. Squeeze through pipe. Um, or not. This could be the only thing. I don't see anything really interesting in here. Besides this giant rat that I'm so tempted to. Wow. A lot of experience for a level one rat. It looks like that might be a place to gain experience. If I get bored, I can go get or killing some rats. I said do west, I believe, yeah. I'm up staircase? Maybe they mean this. I'm up staircase. Oh, I want to go through here. I don't want to stay here. I should go this way. Out, out, out. Get me out of here. All right, we're looking for the uncooked berry pie. No, not the bank. Grand exchange. There we go. Okay. So we're looking to buy a uncooked half a red berry pie. Red berry pie. Red berry pie is what we needed, right? How much does that cost? 2,000 gold? Oh, I'm not going to do that. Alright, I'll give you 210 gold for that. I think they wait till see if somebody matches it. Alright, so let's look for the uncooked berry pie, which I saw. There we go. That's only 1916. A little cheaper. We'll go ahead and comp well no. I won't I won't cheat. How long does this take? How does this work? I was able to sell my staff of air, my charge bow, and my logs. Or it just said sold. I don't know. Oh, I know what I wanted. Bonds. Which is a bond. If I get a bond, I think I can get a member server. Untradable upon purchase. 26 million? 26 million? Are you insane? I have like 50,000. That's not even close. How the heck am I supposed to get that much? I'll try 10,000. 
and see if it works. Okay. So I put a couple different bids in, and I guess somebody has to match and see if they want to do that. So Redberry Pie is in process. I don't know how long I have to wait. Or just to, the longer you wait, the more likely you have. Maybe next time, next week, I'll go check and see if that came. All right, let's see. What other quests? I did have a notebook. A quest notebook here. My quest notebook is a lot faster than re-clicking on everything. I can see where I'm at and what else I can produce. Or what else I can come up And... Gower quest was completed. We can redo the Gower quest if we want to by opening the crate in the farm. Can't do broken home yet because I need all my skills to be level 10. Rag and Bone Man, I could do it. It says I need to be a level 52 monster. I've got so much cake. I wonder if I could beat a level 52 monster. Probably not at this point. Because I'm only like 20 something. Um, I'm looking for a crate. The Perils of Ice Mountain. I need that red berry pie for the Knigget sword. I need magic for the druidic ritual. So I can beat the them in the cave. Let's try that one. I want to learn how to do magic. I'm sure I can, I just don't know how. So it's called Druidic Ritual, and I'm supposed to find a cave. So let's open that. Let's First on the list. A vial of living water from the cave of gelatinous abominations. But first I need a vial, then I need living water in the cave. Well, let's get the vial. You banker, one of you has a vial you can hand me. Here's a vial of water, so I need a vial, an empty vial. Let's do a search. Withdraw one vial. Alright, now let's check the map. It says you marked it on the map. Here in Taverly. Richie. He's probably a rich person. Cage fishing. Maybe that's where I catch the uh, sardines.
Nope, that's crayfish. Here I'm just getting experience, I'll throw all this in. Is it the cave entrance? I believe it is. The gelatinous. And then I need to come up with a magical way of beating them. There we go. Gelatinous abomination. Alright. These are only level 4, but I need to use magic to beat them. Let's try you. Wield the book. Aha! Now they're allowing me to cast spells. See, why didn't when I yielded the book Last time when I was fighting them, did those not appear? It is a mystery. Alright, let's attack and then start using magic. How come I'm not using that book? My... What the heck? I understand I need magic. How come I can't switch to magic? Where's my magic spells? Magic book. Maybe that book was not a spell book. Maybe I need a different kind of book. Oh, the book's in my offhand. Oh, okay. That book helped battle, but it didn't help. here go south and go to that bank and see if they have a book that can actually cast a magic spell because if I don't then how the heck do you use magic? Wizard book. Not a very strong book, but it's a book nonetheless. It just replaced the other book. How do they have to use magic? It's like a prayer book. This is not an actual magic book. Maybe I need a wand. Maybe that's really what I should have had. A staff. Maybe the staff is how you use magic. Not a book. Alright, here's a Tower, Mind Spike. Maybe I could sort these by...
This is the very good filter. I just want to see weapons. Can you tell which one's magic and which one's good? Alright, I'm gonna use I have a staff of water. I've got some water runes. Maybe that can work. We'll try the tower mine spike. There we go. That looks like a magic sword. I don't care how strong it is. I'm just going to try it. mark in here. This doesn't look like a place. Weird. Alright, we'll try again. I didn't say need gauntlets to destroy. You need spiked gauntlets to destroy the heart. What are spiked gauntlets? <sighs> Maybe I talk to this guy in here and he tells me. Required ingredients for the potion. Trouble with your memory, eh, Yellen? I blame all that lab. I need you to get me a vial of untainted living water from down in the enchanted cave. You can get me some wandering wormwood from down by the lake to the south of Taffy Grove, down to the south of the lake. I need you to catch me at last I heard. There was a spot where those fish like to congregate. It's said that there is a spring of living water. I've heard some trolls have gone and mucked about with it, but what we need is untainted by whatever modern hookum they have brought. Just take a vial and fill it up from that water source. That's all you need from there. Well, thank you very much. What's this? Burthorpe needs every advantage it can get. And the power of herb law is quite an advantage. Would you like to learn its secret? Why is this other one over here boxed? Is that where the fish is? That's probably where you catch the, the fishy. That's probably where they mark that. A wandering wormwood, maybe? Oh, sparkling fish spot. Okay, so there's a specific type of fish you can get there. I need some gauntlets. I don't know where they get the gauntlets. It's probably a different type of sword. Here I thought magic was the secret. Which goes what I know.
never gone west. I wonder if I explored west, if I could go any anywhere. I'm going to try that. If I'm able to. I'm running out of quests. I need some new ones. I'm at a brick wall with some of these ones. That's east. Okay, so I got a mountain. I got water. Adolescent white wolf, who wouldn't attack me? Lots of fishing down here. Kind of stuck. I can't go down any farther. Hmm. Can I climb down there? Nope. Talk to Posty Pete. So what'd you find? The snow imps ran into a large amount of snow as one of them happened to go missing. Well, that's no good. The good news is I helped him, so now things are back to normal, which means Posty will be back to getting letters through to you as quickly as he can. Good news. Thank you for helping me out with that. Grapple rocks. Oh, you can't do that. Maybe that's you grapple them and then you can climb down there or something. Enter well. What's in the well? This is that quest we did a long, long time ago. Cabbage. Got more trolls. Somebody's launching magic missiles at people. It's like nothing here, just a bunch of rocks. Rocks and low level monsters. Nothing to see here, ladies and gentlemen. Renew points, small obelisks. Hey, I found a cave. That wolf wanted to attack me. He's a little 42-er. Aw, oh, we can't do it. Alright, 42. Let's see how they work. It looks like this particular weapon is useless. So let's try this. Actually, do some real damage. Not doing too well. Go 
Ooh, now he's damaged. It just took a long time to show up. go west because of the mountains and we probably can't go west because of water how about here have we been here and gone west this looks like that place where we flew to where we sailed to how about was it here that I wanted to go east or here that I wanted to go north I think if I if I warp to here, teleport to here, and then try to go north, that might be more interesting. Maybe I'll try to get up to up to this top section. Level fifteen wilderness. All right. Get me some experience. Level up my fighting. Loaded and unlocked. Listen to the musician. Let's go north and let's explore. Might not let me go past this trench. Go down here? I think I can. I think this is the entrance into the area. Aha! Look who I found. Oh dear. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him, buddy. Come on. I can't even... I didn't misclick. It just ignored him when I clicked. Where's my helmet? Where's all my clothes? Med helm? All my items are missing. What the heck? I'm missing like three-fourths of my armor and stuff. I probably have to go back there to get it back. Let's go do that. I can do that. Okay, I'm looking for a pile of clothes with my name on it. See a red spot. There's my water runes. Loot all. Oh. Run, run, run. Phew. 
Phew. That was close. Look at all that. Bury my own bones. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I can equip some of this stuff. Uh, let's see. Armor-wise, what do we wear? All we have is a helmet and a sword. No other clothes whatsoever. Let's put on my great. That's pretty lousy, but it's something. Where's the rest of my armor? My rest of my armor is missing. I wonder if it's still there. I just didn't pick it all up because I didn't have room. That'd be my guess. some rocks. Mining is not the one I need to upgrade. It's over in there. see it. Twenty two zombie over there. Well here's a twenty two zombie right here. Let's see if I can get anything useful from them. Hey, you look like that Dark Knight guy. What did I get from you? Bones? Found some planks. I'm not gonna go pick those up though. It's like just tons of zombies over here. when I beat will respawn as I'm picking up stuff. Oh wow. Hit me while I was not looking. Leveled up. Is this 
without armor. I'm hoping I like pick up some or something. Definitely multiplying, because as I beat some, more arrive. They're not really dropping anything useful either. Two pouch points. Where do I have to pick them up? Why is it taking up space? Don't I have a pouch? It's a mystery. There's a glitch. So many things about this game are not explained that are so weird. I wonder what these are. Examine ovals. I wonder what this does. Here we go, skeletons. These don't multiply. Not like zombies, anyway. Shield and armor. I can get some improved armor from you, buddy. Oh, you're 32. I see. You're higher level. Hey, I got. Spawns right here. You can never end it. But you would automatically take and bury all bones and points.
Ooh, did he drop some armor or something? Or is this just more room? Was it like water room? I don't really know those. Copper stone spirit. I don't know what that is. Ooh, a ghost. If we can attack the ghost. It looks like I can. With a sword, no less. Of course, he doesn't drop anything because he's dead. Ghosts. I guess the ghosts don't attack you this kill. Let's do it. Bones all over there. Take big bones. Hey, what are those two? What do big bones do? Bury bones, bury big bone. Plus 15. Bury little bones. Five. Okay, so there's three times more, I think. So who drops the big bones? Iron arrow? See what else is here. I've got something else around the corner. Set trap young tree. What are these iguanas? Oh, maybe you set a trap for the iguana. That looks like a monster. It's a hill giant, levels 44. Did I go after him? Is that even a question? Oh, I'm supposed to set a trap for him. I can't attack him. Examine hill giant. A very large foe. Attack hill giant. Oh yeah, I got him. Maybe he'll drop some armor. Yeah, right. Thank you. 
Make big bones. There we go. Take coins. There we go. Another hill giant up on the hill. Ooh, what's that? It's like a dragon. Can I examine that guy? Green dragon. Must be related to Elvard. Okay, should we attack the green dragon or should we wait till we're a little bit bigger? I think we should wait a little bit. Let's go after this second giant. Little giant, where was he? Attack hill giant. Hey, we got the uphill on him. Weird that they mark this as a level 17 area, but he's a level 44. Bladed something salvage. Steel salvage. Wonder what you do with that. What's in here? This looks like a little, oh, it's a little ghost. Oops, okay, so this is the land of the ghosts. I beat a couple giants already. Another one that just woke up behind me and I'm running away and seeing if he follows me, and he does not. or something over there. He meets a flag marking the beginning of the wilderness or something. Okay. Take three steps in and all of a sudden <clears throat> more giants. This one looks a little different, sixty three still. Imagine they would just go up from here. It's down here. This looks like a lake or something. This is a really weird thing. It's like they went all Minecraft on it and ran out of pixels or something. Enter mysterious entrance. A 
Now he grinds back to here. Weird. There's a boat over here. What's in the boat? Talk to guard. Hello. A road less trouble. Past the guards guarding the wilderness entrance. Can we help you with anything? Can I go through the gate? If you want, I'll let we'll let you pass into the wilderness. Be warned that other players might attack you there, and you won't be allowed through the gate while you're in combat. Oh, I think he's I'm on the other side. Go southwest, you'll reach Varok. You don't die there for All right, so let's check the map. I am in a new area. Okay. So this whole new area, northeast, I wonder, no, there's no waypoint. I have to walk here every time? That is a mystery. Well, let's go follow the path and see some stuff up here. Ah, here's the stairs. Maybe I can buy some armor. Archaeologist. Highly doubtful I can get it from them. Excavate. You won't believe what happened. What happened? Whilst excavating nearby, I found the most magical pot. May I see it? I dropped it. Oh. Excavate the material cache from the Eye of the Dragon. Never mind. Over here. But on the other side or inside? Here's my mysterious entrance. I did make it over here. Dungeoneering level 90 to venture into. Dang it. Well, let's go to up here. It's a chicken. Examine chicken. Who are you calling chicken? There's like ghosts walking around. That's weird. Okay, let's go into the ice area. Wig laugh. I'm sorry, I'm really busy. Maybe next time. You know what? Talk to Thok of Demonheim. 
What do you want with Falk? What is this place? This is camp where warriors rest and prepare for onslaught. Falk wait here to reward those who survive Demonheim who show might as great as Fox. Demonheim? I mean Demon Halls. Name not quite right. As there are worse things than demons in Demonheim. It's less a hall and more a pit too. Some say it has no end, but Thok no better. What can I do here? Up path is Demonheim. It holds more treasure than Thok can put in his pockets, which is lucky for you as it's count guarded by countless monsters, which is unlucky for you. First timer should talk to Tudor before going into castle. What's the cape beside you? Dungeoneering skill cape. It mark bearer as true master of demon halls. Though Thok has been far into Demonheim, no one believe him so. Thok must guard skill cape and offer it to brave warriors who find bottom of this place. All right, where's the tutor? Here's the reward shop. I turn in unlocks, consumables. Won't let me buy any of those. Rewards trader. Oh, hello. I didn't see. Wondering if you could help me. Help? Uh, I'm not sure if I can. Um, who are you? I used to be uh, handle the equipment. What's your name? A name? I uh, you drive me crazy. You mentioned something about equipment. You're quite right. I sell things, mend things. What interests you? What do you sell? So these are. I have 184 tokens. I can buy. These tokens? No, I buy these things. This option allows you to trade Dungeoneering tokens for Dungeoneering skill EXP. One to one ratio. Let's see what this means. It looks like this is a uh, basically a dungeon. Oh, well, there's the tutor I'm supposed to talk to first. All right, what well, bank? Okay, that's just my bank. I can toss stuff into the bank. I can get stuff from the bank. What would I want to do? What's a dummy training dummy crate? I don't know what it is. Combat training dummy. I'm gonna try to use them up. Okay. Leather cowl. Is that something I can put on? I need clothes. Why is it 40s? I mean, it's worse than what I've got currently.
Wandering Wormwood. I needed that for that one quest. I think I already turned it in though because it had it in gray. Alright, we'll try to use up some dummies. in the bank where I put all the arrows Ooh, iron in the next where I put the salvage in the bank I'll explore here next time. Um, but thanks a lot for joining us, and we'll see you later. Have a good one.